Hi guys and welcome to this Bootstrap 4 with Brackets text editor video. In this video we're going to explore some of the great new features of Bootstrap 4. We're going to be using the free text editor Brackets for this video. You can download it from a link just below the video here. Now Bootstrap 4 has got some great margin and padding classes so you don't have to go into your CSS style sheet. You can actually add various amounts of padding to whatever you want here. So let's add some padding to all of these column, columns. If we go back to our HTML here. Let's give our columns here. See each one of our columns. We will, Let's give it a padding of 5. Now to do that you go P for padding it goes to five now it goes up in increments from one to five five being the largest amount of padding one being the smallest and i think it goes from 0 0.25 uh, 0.50 and upwards or 0 0.50 and upwards so let's just show you this and then we'll change this to the, the smaller padding so you can see the difference so again i'm just going to copy this like I said, this is great because you don't actually have to go into your style CSS sheet to add a bit of padding to, to little sections. Let's save this. Control S. Now, when I refresh, we should have a bit more padding around here. So these will shrink down and in and down and in and down and in. A little more space in between. There we go. So you've got a little more air in between. We've got some more padding at the bottom and at the top here. Um, now you can apply this padding just to individual sides. Uh, PL would be padding left, PB padding bottom, PR padding right, PT padding top. And to the same extent you can add margins as well. What I'm going to do is I'll quickly show you we used P5 and if I select this, let's scroll it up so you can see select one of our columns there the green section is showing you the amount of padding that that's added let's change that to p1 and you'll see that it go, goes down to a much smaller amount of padding so go p1 and save back to our site and now when we do a refresh, this should they should come a little closer together. There we go. And that's because we've got slightly smaller padding. If we inspect again now, you can see the P1's a lot smaller than the 5. And as I say, it increments up from 1 to 5. I like that 5 better, so let's put that back in there. actually just do control Z control Z control Z to undo what we've just done as long as we haven't closed out our bracket software save back to our site and it's back how it was now also we can use the same thing with margin let's say we want a larger margin or between the bottom of the styles and the top of our text here So here's our text. In our H1, we'll just give a, a class. We'll give it margin 5. And that will give it a margin of 5. Save that. Refresh. And there should be a much larger gap between there now. And between the top. There we go, let's put that in there. Okay, say we only wanted the margin to be on the bottom. Let's change that to MB for bottom. Margin bottom, five, save. Now when we go back, should go back up to where it was, but we should still have a nice margin at the bottom there. There we go. Really useful features that make it really easy to style things quickly with a new bootstrap 4. 
So there you have it. There's adding columns, text, padding, and margins in Bootstrap 4. In the next video, we'll add some images. So I hope you found that useful. If you have, please subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in web design, take one of our courses below. We have huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. And there's also some great free courses down there as well. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.